barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button as i told you guys this is gonna be the one-stop shop for this fight you know what i mean earl spence versus sean porter but don't forget august 25th backpack giveaway in inglewood california september 28th tba on the location but reserve your morning up until 2 p.m it's gonna be epic i got some dope ideas that i want to pull off for this event it's gonna be fun uh Fight fans going to be there. The LDBC going to be there. And we're going to give back to the community bigger and better than Texas. <laughs> Go talk to all my subscriber LDBC kings, man, and queens. But we're going to do it big and ever. We're going to show y'all how it's done, dog. All right. I, I I recently saw something, right? And 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 the reason why I'm bringing this up, because the, the last question I ever asked Sean Porter was uh, uh i asked him was this his super bowl and he says he's treating it like as if it's his super bowl right and i was alarmed yesterday i, I saw helen yee's video shout out to helen yee uh she's a beautiful woman go subscribe to her channel uh she, she's very kind I've, I've never said much to her but i always see her and she's a sweetheart beautiful woman so go subscribe to her channel and i heard of i i heard a uh I heard Sean Porter talking and it bothered me a little bit. And I'm going to do my breakdown afterwards. I spoke to, uh, I spoke to like three people and uh, I'll, I'll give you their, their take on it. And I give you my understanding because I had some concerns about it. But is Sean Porter overtraining for this fight? I'm going to play this right now for you. So, so, so what I did, let me break this down for you. I got the first question of the interview from me and the first question from Helen Yee. So it has a sense of parallel to it. So I'm not choosing Sean Porter, uh, given his eighth answer to a question, but his first answer to a question, because I want you to, to com comparable analysis as I can. But uh, listen to how Sean Porter can't formulate words. And I I'm going to explain it to you. One second. For the time. Uh, damn, I got to wait 13 seconds. So. Let me, oh shit, I, let me cue this shit a little better. Let me pause this video and I'll be, well, no, I'll just mute it for 13 seconds. I wonder, can y'all still hear me while I muted the computer? I've never done that before. So we'll, we'll figure that out right now. It's just more right, I want y'all to listen to this excitement. Gameplay. This is Helen G's first question. Go subscribe to her channel. Uh, and, and listen to how Sean Porter Helen Yee here with answers. Eyes on the Game here at Barry's Boxing being joined by the two-time welterweight champion Showtime yeah. Sean Porter your fight finally got finalized uh, during the Pacquiao versus Thurman fight week mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of anticipation you know the past few months kind of leading into it and, and some rumors saying is it in August so how relieved were you when it finally Got uh, you know what the the I, I don't think there was more there, there wasn't re relief I think yeah. the, the the thing that, of that weekend was just excitement I mean excitement to see Pacquiao and Keith Thurman was was you know that that alone was quite exciting but also uh, so excited to be able to announce the fight happening and talk about all right that's the first minute of that video and now I want you to hear how he answers you guys heard him answer millions of thousands of questions before but i just want comparable analysis i'm going to use my interview the first question uh, uh that the boxing voice asked go subscribe to their channel as well but it's in a group interview it's a media scrum now now listen to this now listen. Sean, uh, <laughs> Sean, what you, i won't be there what did, what did this you is you danny from the boxing voice that, asking uh, he respects you as a fighter but that the fight is personal not because of you because of comments your father has made leading up to this fight. Errol Spence, yes. man, uh, anything that's been said publicly uh, about my fight with Errol uh, is all that's been said by Errol. Um, Errol's putting his own foot in his mouth. Uh, Errol's um, picking up things that other people are saying to him um, that do not come directly from myself or from my dad. Um, you know, he's the one that got in the ring the night that I beat Danny Garcia and said that he wanted to fight me next. Verbatim, I love you. I love your father. But on fight nights, it's all it's all about business. Well, leave it at this. You know what I mean? Leave it at you love me, you love my dad, and then on fight night, it's all about business. You know why? Why are we talking now? You know why are we why are we talking about you dress better? Uh, all right, now that's it. And and, and I'm gonna talk about that jealousy comment too, as it relates to Sean Porter. I'm definitely gonna talk about that shit. But anyways, you guys heard the first 
portion of his uh of his uh of his interview and you heard the second interview which was a media scrum uh probably july 27th so today is august this interview was july 27th uh no this interview was july 26th that i conducted and the video that and the interview that helen e did was uh let's see august 1st so uh probably what is that a week a week no july 18th was this video and August 1st. So I would say two weeks, 13 days, somewhere in there. So anyway, moving forward, I I actually sent this to, to someone and they said that uh, he could be dehydrated, uh, lack of lack of uh, fluid around the brain. And this and, and, and by the looks of Sean Porter in this in this in this um, in this interview that I know him probably was a sparring day because he wears a green shirt when he's just working out. So he probably, if he wasn't sparring anything, I, I, this is just my guesstimation. This probably could have been a sparring day. But overall, I want to get your take on him, how he's stuttering through his sentences. And I asked Dre. Dre says, uh, Dre's a doctor, as, as you guys know. I asked her, and she said, has... Uh, seizures now nah, Sean is not no seizure dude or nothing like that but she said he doesn't have enough fluid around the brain and uh, she always talks about fighters talking and and all that and she says that they spar way too much and they take too many punches early on in their career in terms of like the amateur stuff and then moving up they feel they got to prove themselves in the ring and they sparring without sparring gear and they just spar way too much and uh, so but overall Listening to Sean Porter talk at the beginning of this Helen Yee video, he's dehydrated. He's very dehydrated, and my humble opinion, he lacks uh, fluid around the brain. So my question to you is, is Sean Porter overtraining for this fight? We won't know until September 28th, but uh, by his answer that I asked him, is this your Super Bowl? He says yes. By him saying he's been training since April 27th, quite possibly he could be overtraining. You know, uh, he's taking this. He knows how he knows how good Earl Spence is. You understand? Uh, um, um, his team knows how good Earl Spence is. I've had private conversations with them explaining how good Earl Spence is. Uh, can he win the fight? There's a percentage that say he can win the fight. Is is Sean Porter the underdog? Yes, Vegas has him a minus 355 underdog. So that's pretty much four, three and a half three and a half to one you understand what I'm saying so that makes it a pretty Earl Spence a pretty large favorite and uh, um, but I do have some concerns you know because Sean is is uh, he doesn't stutter but he does has a pause when he talks you understand and listening to him talk in this interview he was definitely dehydrated um, I'm looking at the picture I, I would screenshot the picture so you guys can see it. He looks like he can make weight in seven days. And he may be holding this weight too long. He looks like, honestly, about one between 156 and 161 in this picture. And he might not have enough fat in his body to sustain himself for eight weeks. Man, we still got seven and a half weeks for this camp, for this fight. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, um, I think that... Uh, um, we'll just see, man. We'll just see. We're going to find out September 28th is Sean Porter overtrained. He said he's been training since April 20th, a week after his fight in April 20th. He said he took a week off and now he's back. So he's been training since April 27th. And I told you guys in many of videos, uh, when I saw Sean Porter at the Devin Alexander fight, I said Sean looked in amazing shape. You understand? He, he had a suit on. But he didn't have a coat on. And I looked at him. I was like, damn, that motherfucker been training. And I could totally tell that he's been training because he has a little waist. And, and he has like that that running back structure, that, that statuous running back structure. And you can see his broad shoulders. So And he looked like he was defined. And, uh, but um, I, I, he may be too low. And you guys say, Fred, what the fuck are you talking about? What I'm, ex what I'm trying to explain to you is you need fat. You got to... There's a level you got to have a perfect fat of perfect fat, perfect water, perfect muscle. Like and and you can't be burning your muscle this early 7 weeks before the fight. You know, Phil Negreco said in the interview, if you guys 
hadn't seen it, I'll post it. But he says, Sean may be too low in weight uh, right now. He looked at the picture and he said, Sean may be too low in weight. And and you guys be the judge of it. So go watch Helen Yee's interview and you guys tell me. I know he's training his ass off. I know this fight. He knows this fight means the world to him. If Sean Porter loses this fight, and especially because of uh, the lack of fan support that he has, it's going to be real tough on him in terms of uh, fight paydays, in terms of uh, having a presence in boxing, because that belt gives him great presence in the sport of boxing. And, and, and I said to you guys this in your video, Sean is coming to this fight with everything to lose and everything to win. And um, Earl Spence has to be prepared for a man that's willing to die in the ring. And you can tell by how he's training, he's willing to die in this ring. And we know Sean Porter, as I said yesterday in the, in the in when, when I interviewed when I interviewed with Greco, Sean's gonna be in great shape. Sean's gonna give it all. Sean's gonna fight at a tempo that you've never had to fight at. Um, uh, but my concern is, is his weight too low right now? We'll see. We'll see. I don't. If he can hold this weight for seven weeks between 156 and 162, somewhere in there, it's going to be tough because he's sparring. And uh, he's going to have, and see, see, he has a catch-22. You have to have a level of, of absorption to spar, right? The goal is, I don't know, man. I'm not the expert on this because I've never fought a professional fight. You guys are the expert that's fought professional fights. But you guys tell me in the comment section, listening to Sean Porter's, go back and re-listen to Sean Porter talking and he couldn't formulate a sentence. And I I know that's from, because I've had, I, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a example of this. I 30% uh, of the time when I do interviews, uh, fight week, fighters always tell me before, um, uh, I'm hungry, I can't talk, because I'm trying to make weight. So uh, excuse me. And you hear that in a lot of interviews. Go to my Chris Colbert video when he fought on the uh, Jamel Charles. Just Googling Chris Colbert. He was too hungry. He couldn't even formulate a sentence because he had to make weight. Um, another example, Pistol Pete out of New York. He couldn't even formulate a sentence because uh, he said that uh, he couldn't. He was trying to make weight. And he, he said, sorry about that. Uh Julian J. Rock Williams, I remember uh, he and I had a conversation when he was fighting uh, um, uh, Jared Hurd. He said that, uh, excuse me, but excuse my stuttering. He said it like, he said it so professional, so profound. He was like, and he looked like Michael Mex because he wears those Michael Mex glasses. <laughs> and he said, excuse me, uh, before we started the interview, he said, you got to excuse me, but I'm, I'm making weight. And uh, he had this thing around his neck that, that, uh, that calculated his, uh, Sean Porter needs to invest in that. Sean Porter should call uh, J-Rock and, and get this thing from him. But it actually, in real time, it calculates your moisture levels, your hydration levels that's actually in your body. Earl Spence should actually call J-Rock and get one as well. Um, but uh, And J-Rock should actually sell them. You know, J-Rock should sell them. J-Rock should go into business. Matter of fact, J-Rock and I should go into business <laughs> and sell these things to fighters, man. But it's probably too late because I would be the middleman, and and by the time they get to me, they'll realize that um, they can actually go to the source and get it a little bit cheaper. But you know what I mean. So, anyways, but J Rock should go into business selling these uh, these uh, real time rehydration calculators. It, it changed. He was he was explaining it to me. He showed it to me when we were driving to the uh, the UPS to pick up his fight night outfit, and uh, uh, it, it was moving in real time. And uh, so, but um, anyways, that was a great conversation I had with J-Rock. But moreover than that, go listen to that Helen Yee interview. Listen to the first minute of that interview and listen to the first minute of any Sean Porter interview you've ever heard before. And granted, this is after he's worked out, but it also shows you that this probably was a sparring day for him. I don't know. I don't know that to be true. I'm guesstimating. Uh, and, and two, you can totally hear that he's he's he can't formulate a sentence. So he's... Uh, he doesn't have fluid. He lacks fluid in his brain. He has fluid in his brain, but not enough fluid in his brain to to uh, to function daily uh, at a uh, at a great rate. So, but you guys be the judge of it. Put it in the comment section. Let me know. 
He did say that this will be a Super Bowl. Is Sean Porter, is this proof Sean Porter is overtraining? Shout out to Helen E. Go subscribe to her channel. Uh, she's a nice woman, very calm woman. Never had any issue with her. Always smile at her. She says hi. Uh, so go subscribe to her channel. And two, uh, uh, Danny asked that question that I just posted. So go subscribe to the Boxing Voice as well. Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's Sunday. Sunday, fun day, family day. And uh, we're going to get it popping. Have a great Sunday. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.